I would love you to join me for this little teaching I'm going to give. Um, it's about empathy and how important empathy is within your life. And I think today it's really very hard for people to have empathy. I think they are struggling with it because life is hard at the moment. For, I would say, for 99% of the population of the whole world, we are all struggling in different ways because of the way the world is today. We're seeing just so much negative that it's hard for us to have empathy. We have empathy in a way that we kind of just say, oh, isn't that really sad? But most of us don't practice empathy. And I, I always feel that the way we can practice empathy is actually to have as well empathy for yourself. The first step. Um, empathy for yourself in the sense of to forgive yourself, to love yourself, to be compassionate with you, to understand you. And sometimes I would say, you know, if you wrote a letter to yourself on the empathy that you feel for you of what you're going through in life. And then I would say, maybe when you study that, you can practice giving empathy to others and understanding. And even, you know, empathy to nature, to our planet, because our planet is so important. We, we need it. It provides everything for us. And in one way, it's a good thing. It can help to teach us empathy as well. You know, the way maybe you don't like flies or you don't like, you know, um, maybe spiders. Um, and all that you want to do is kill them. You know, that means you actually have no empathy in a sense for those little creatures that don't want to do you any harm, but yet are playing a huge part in, in nature that provides you with everything that you have. And I would always, you know, from the time I was a child, one thing the angels always showed me was if someone wasn't kind to nature they would tell me that they have the person lacks empathy in a huge way and sometimes I would say to the angels but why why do they lack empathy and the angels would tell me it was because most of the time because of pain and hurt or feeling What's that word done by, you know, that they were wronged, that maybe jealousy came into it, that they thought someone else had more than them. And it made them angry. It made them that, you know, they didn't care about anything. And if you're not kind to nature, you're lacking so much in empathy and then you're lacking it in yourself, having that empathy for yourself, that understanding of you. And then how can you show empathy to others if you don't show empathy to nature? And many a time, all of us would see cruelty to nature. Um, in the wildlife, even in the flowers, as I said, the birds and the bees. 
even with, you know, our pets at times, cats and dogs. And I always got the impressions from the angels was that if we can't show love, that empathy to nature, how can we show it to ourselves or to those that are close to us, to those that love us? So in the world today, I do think it's really, really hard for all of us to show empathy. And I think it's so important for parents to show empathy, to teach their children, you know, how to have understanding and compassion for others and for nature. It's like, you know, you're showing a bit of kindness You know, you're showing a bit of kindness in the world, no matter how tiny it is, and a child sees it, or or even an older adult. You know, even that older adult that may be finding, you know, it's very hard to have empathy for anything in life. It always moves them, and they find it hard to understand. It's always like, You know, why did someone bother save me when I wasn't worthy, when I didn't deserve to be saved? So I think it's it's just something that we need to all work on, even myself. You know, because at times I find it hard sometimes. You know, when someone says something, you know, mean or or hurtful or tries to block something I'm doing, sometimes I have to take a deep breath and say, no, I have to love them. God has taught me I must love. I must have that empathy. So no matter what, I will do all I can to help them. And that's hard for us now. Um. And we just see that in the world today. So I was just thinking that maybe the exercise would be, and and I would say to you, don't be lazy, because lots of us want to grow spiritually, want to become closer to God and the angels. We want to have those spiritual experiences. But yet, in one sense, I hope you don't mind me saying it, but we are a bit lazy. We don't want to write that letter to ourselves. We don't want to allow those emotions out. And I think it would be very good to write a letter to yourself on empathy, on what you feel, what empathy you have for you. Again, it's another word of love. It's another word of compassion, of hope. It's something that is very special, that makes us so human. And so many times we pour it out onto the world, but then when the world does something to us, we pull it back. You know, um, so I would love you to do that exercise. You know, Take 10 minutes. Maybe you're in your bed or maybe you're in a cafe having a cup of tea and a coffee. You know, have your pen and paper or maybe your phone and just start, you know, typing away of empathy, your empathy, the empathy that you have for you, the understanding that you have for you. And I think that would be a great exercise and for you to discover in one sense how much you need empathy from others. You know, it's it's something that we don't realise how much we do need empathy from others so that in a sense it stirs us. It stirs us to, how can I say it, to show more compassion and more love in the world but especially for yourself as well everything always seems to start with ourselves you know so 
cut away anger and hate. Allow yourself to understand the empathy for you so you can have empathy for all your friends, for the strangers, for your family, for nature in every single way and say well done to yourself. So write that letter. Um, No matter how many times you write it because over time it will change. And I know over time if you work on that exercise, you know, um, you'll actually become, and I'm always saying it because when we work on ourselves so, so that we can be kinder, more compassionate, so we can have empathy for everything, we become happier. So don't be lazy about it. Do the exercise. And any time you're out somewhere or you have even five minutes or you're on a train or on a bus and the thought comes into your mind, start to write another letter. Another letter about the empathy to yourself because it'll take more than one. You know, I would say, you know, over time, a person could actually end up writing a hundred pages on empathy of themselves, how empathy has affected them, what empathy you have yourself. So maybe I should finish up there and just say, I love you and bless you. And thank you very much for listening.